Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to perform a 3SLS regression using simultaneous regression method uh, in, in Stata and then show you the, the three plugins or three libraries that can be installed to do the diagnostics for 3SLS regression. So I will start with uh, loading the data. So this is a very popular data that is used in very uh, many examples. This is the cleans data set, uh, clean, K-L-E-I-N. And in this data set, there's an equation for income and consumption and wages. So I will start with the equation. So reg 3 is a function of consumption, wages and private wages and government wages. And wages private is a function of consumption and government capital. So since there is a reverse function, so that's why we have to use full information method to use uh, 3SLS. So 3SLS uh, does, uh, does address the endogeneity by assessing both reverse and direct and reverse relations rather than 2SLS where the instruments are used to solve it. So when I run this command, it will give me both equations and results for both. First stage regression and then second stage regression. So then when you do this uh, regression, you will have the uh, RMSE for both equations, chi square test and p value for both equations and R scales. So you can then interpret the results. So there are the significant in the consumption equation and there's one significant in uh, wage equation. Now there are three libraries I have already installed. So I did added the static sign, but if you remove the static sign, you can install this command. So this library, I run it, it will the auto correlation test and it is showing that there is auto correlation because alternative is accepted and you can also see that the Watson values are very low and there is another type of test uh, equation wise and overall so in both cases and even using Depp and Watson there is autocollation then this command control D this is a heteroscedasticity test so this is equation wise and there is no hetero but overall there is hetero and then there is the command for uh, normality so overall normality test so it's normal Overall uh, skewness, they are fine. Overall ketosis, they are fine. And skewness and ketosis coefficients are here. Skewness is nearing zero and it is nearing three. And then even using the runs test, so it's a uh, standard deviation and the test confidence is this. So this is the test value. So this way you can check the diagnostics. So I hope you like this video and these three libraries are very useful in understanding the post regression diagnostics for 3SLS regression. So do test this model in your in your studies and let me know how this performs. Thank you.